Following the topics of the previous chapters, we will now talk about stereotechniques. For stereo miking techniques, you should use matched pair stereo microphones, or at least choose two microphones with the closest sensitivity and frequency response level you can find. In the space pair technique, the two mics are placed between 1 or 3 feet to sometimes 20 feet of each other. This of course depends on the size of the instrument or ensemble. The two microphones should be aligned with the center of the sound source and pan in accordance to their left and right positions. Because two microphones are capturing the same sound source, there is the potential for phase discrepancies between the two channels. So always follow the 3 to 1 rule. Here's a drum recording with the overheads in a space pair disposition. The coincident technique uses a matched pair of directional mics that are offset along an horizontal plan. The microphones are often placed at angles that vary between 90 degrees to 135 degrees. The angle formed by the two microphones should always be symmetrical to the center line of the sound source, respecting this way the on-axis stereo image. The Blumlein microphone technique was developed by Alan Dower Blumlein during the 1930s. This technique employs the same principles than the XY technique, but it uses figure of eight microphones instead of car diodes. These figure of eight mics are angled at 90 degrees. The left quadrant and its rear lobe are routed to the left channel of the mixer, while the right quadrant and the respective rear lobe are routed to the right. The benefit of this technique is that the rear combines with the front in the stereo cross-channel image to pick up the entire lateral 360 sound field image. Here's an acoustic guitar with two NT2As. The mid-side technique is similar to the XY in that it also uses two close proximity microphones to create the stereo image. One of the microphones, generally a car diode, is set to be the mid microphone and the other, a figure of eight, is set to be the side microphone. The mid microphone is pointed towards the sound source while the side microphone is oriented 90 degrees to the side. Direct sound is picked up by the mid microphone and ambient sound is picked up by the side microphone. With the mid-side technique, you can correct the stereo image after the recording has been made, because the recorded signal from the two microphones will be fed to a mixer to decode the MS signal. This is called the sum and difference matrix. The recorded mid-microphone track is routed to a channel in the mixer and pan center. The side mic is routed to a second channel and pan hard left. 
A copy of the side mic is also routed to a third channel and panned hard right. Don't forget to invert the phase on channel 3. This will allow you to have complete control over the stereo image and you can mix the side microphone channels more or less which results in having more or less ambient sound.